Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So here we are in basic setting. Now, so in basic setting, there are multiple things to discuss, but the very first topic was that is posting period variant. So what is the use of posting period variant that I have explained even in previous session also and So certain control I have explained. When we do any sort of configuration guys, first of all, you need to know what is the exact use of this one, right? So that's what we need to know. And then uh, we'll have to do that configuration. So doing this configurations, if you have to create this posting period variant, it's a matter of just one minute. Right, but explanation taking time. Okay, but yes, these controls are there. That is what is going to be asked by people. Okay, and that too, they will put a scenario. Now it is there's scenario based questions are there, right? So scenario based question means without proper understanding, it is impossible to answer the answer the questions, and that is the reason 95% of the people are getting rejected. Right? Because let's suppose uh, this is what the definition of posting period variant. When I narrate the definitions, when you just narrate the definitions and all, right? So with that, nothing will happen. So what is the okay? So let me come on the Excel sheet. So in previous session, what I explained, guys, here. Okay. So I said here that posting period variant look at here what kind of controls are there so period wise posting isn't it so period wise posting means let's suppose this is so we are in say for example uh, so we are in uh, what do you say this one eighth period right august means eighth period so now what is happening you have to set up a posting period variant. Okay. Okay. What is this variant guys? That also is, I'll explain. Don't worry. So now you have to set up this posting period variant. Okay. And then what is happening guys against that posting and this posting period variant is going to be linked with the company code. Okay, this is going to be linked with company code. Posting period variant we have to create that is going to be assigned to the company code. And against posting period variant, guys, what is happening? These periods are going to be open. So if I keep here from period 8 to period 8, it means only current period. 8 means like it is August. So current period is running, right? If you give from period 7 and 2 periods 8, then July and August both are open. When we talk about calendar year, right? Calendar year means January to December. If we are going to use non calendar year, guys, then the periods are going to be different. Different periods will be open. That also we will discuss, but in next topic when I explain fiscal year variant. Okay, so this is what is happening, guys. And when you change into year, like let's suppose here eighth period to eighth period, right? Okay. Now, if you say like one to twelve, it means entire year is open, right? So it depends, guys. Or here, like if you make it two thousand twenty-three, it means entire twenty-two is also open, and entire twenty-three is also open. But generally in real time, what is happening guys? Such kind of situation never come. Okay. In real time, what happened in real time? Only one periods are going to be open and whenever it required, right? Whenever it required, then what is happening guys? Then another periods are going to be open. Let's suppose this is eighth period, which is running. So this is how it will be open. When somebody approaches and saying that okay, due to any mistake or some 
time what happens some adjustment related entries uh, they have to post right so in the, our tax related adjustment or whatever it is let's suppose here itself i said like this scenario i explained in the previous session so any such kind of entry if they have to post in that case only what is happening the pre previous period is going to be open okay so this is the things and apart from this if you open if you open only current period then what is happening sometime if the user is going to post a transaction let's suppose and instead of the current date if by mistake user has given a future date then what will happen guys so if you don't have this restrictions then sap is going to allow to post the transaction even in future date also right so in that case the report is not uh, it's it's incorrect because certain transactions got posted instead of uh, august month it was posted in september month right so if you see the report for august so the transaction which was posted in september month is not visible in august report report right so this is why here the always period open close activities happen and generally at month end month end what is happening guys on at month end this current period will be closed and the whatever this next period is there that is going to be open okay now this is the one thing okay now another thing is there is another control also guys i'll explain to you okay now let's suppose so here we are having like okay let's suppose there are total three users are there okay try to understand now i'm explaining the another control okay because i have seen sometime people have asked uh this question uh, during interview and uh, most of the candidates are unable to explain this okay so i'll explain theoretically here so that you guys will be having idea because practically in this the involvement of basis consultant also will be there right so now i'll tell you so here one more thing guys before that one more thing i'll explain okay so just bring this here okay <clears throat> this is what is happening now so here current period is open it's okay now let's suppose a user user has made a mistake let's suppose any particular user has made, made the mistake right then what happens and that transaction was like let's suppose current period is 8th right and the user whatever the user was there that user is trying to post a transaction of june month then what happened guys june month transaction trying to post in august so generally that is not possible so now user is going to approach the management okay so if you are going to open period 6 here and 8 here then what happened guys then 6th is also open 7th is also open and 8th period is also open right or else it belongs to may then what will happen then now look at here may june july august four periods are open right so as i said here always like current period will be open or else max to max pre previous periods are going to be open whenever any such kind of requirements are there where like fifth period they have to open due to any reason okay or sixth period period they have to open because it's a large organization guys 
several various kind of transactions are getting posted and all and of course such kind of mistakes are pretty obvious so of course they need to open okay so fifth period is supposed to be open and if they are going to open here then there is a problem right sixth also open seventh also open so now users are free there might be a chances that some of the people are very clever and they are just waiting for that okay whenever such kind of periods are going to open then they will post their transaction right so now there is another control given by sap so sap says it will be like this okay from period to period and then here this is called year right now it will be like this actual i'll show you so this is called from period one and this is called from period two okay so now you'll be having like this okay so in SIP, it will be like this from period one to period also one and this is from period two and to period two. So now what happened here guys? Here current period only will be open. Here current period will be open and here they are going to open the fifth period. Here the fifth period is going to be open. Okay. Now what will happen, guys? So when any particular user, let's suppose this user A has requested, right? Or any user has requested. So that user or so what is happening? Only fifth period got open. Right? And eighth period is already open. This is the current period. So eighth period is open, and here in from period two, they have opened fifth period. So whenever they are trying to post the transactions guys transactions are always going to be posted against company code, right? Okay, so System will check SAP will check. What is the company code? Let's suppose TM double two. That is the company code against that company code in background itself SAP will check. Okay In this against this company code. What is the posting period variant is with which which is linked? So it is let's suppose this is the code or is even you can give the same code also. There is no problem. Okay So this is the posting period variant Against this variant which period is open. So here period number eight is open. It means Transaction posting will be allowed in August month At the same time in from period to two is there any other period is open? Yes, it is open Right, yes, it is open. So this is fifth period is open so it means transaction posting will be allowed only in two period fifth and eighth right eighth period is open and fifth period is open so what happened guys it means sixth is not open and seventh is not open okay so this is what the benefit now the another explanation is so at a time Two different period can be open. It was a question asked by uh, you know interviewer, right? This is what is my requirement. Very basic answer is there. Look at here. This is how you can say that yes, two different period. Like let's suppose somebody approached me to open a period number fifth, right? And currently we are period number eight is going on. So period number eight is already open. So now if I'm going to open fifth. Then what happens simultaneously sixth and seventh is also going to open because if I give five to eight then these two periods are also open. So as a consultant you tell me the solution so that only fifth will be open and eighth will be open. So you have to say that eighth will be open in from period one and fifth will be open in from period two right or vice versa fifth will be open here eighth will be open here right now another question was there that i'll explain here so now just assume that uh, there are total three friends a b and c 
okay now what is happening guys so there is a transaction there is a transaction uh, which belongs to let's suppose like this a on this state a has received one invoice and unable to post right unable to post into system what is this guys sorry here it was 2022 okay okay so now or generally so whenever such kind of things are there then only it is going to be open or is generally it will be blank also right or real time what happened guys in real time in this one from period two you will be having another huge also right that is called special posting period but again that is a different concept guys right special posting period is not possible to explain right now because you know nothing right now isn't it so if i explain that is also going to be used for uh what is say that is special posting periods are going to be used for year end closing right at the time of year ends what happened is theoretically i'll just explain something here so that little bit you guys will be having idea right so special posting periods are going to be used for year end closing during year end again they have to adjust their books of account guys so lots of adjustment related entries they have to post isn't it lots of adjustment related entries they have to post and when you talk about year ends right so when you talk about year end guys year end means let's suppose year end will take place let's suppose december is finished we have entered in january 2023 right so number of transactions will be more right so workload always will be more guys year end means workload will be more even in january month also what is happening guys year in related activities just assume that the fiscal year financial year is calendar year jan to december right in that case so december means the 22 is going to be ended right it means and january onwards a new year is going to be started generally here in india or else like in multiple countries what is happening guys non-calendar years are being followed that is uh, april to march right and in certain other countries a different different uh, fiscal year financial years are going to be followed but right now just to give that financial year is jan to december itself so in that case december year end is done 2022 is over now in january 23 is like new year started isn't it but the year end activity will be there in january also in january also like is going to happen right so in that case what happened guys in that case people will open the current period here 2023 right and here 2023 right and then what will happen here certain special posting periods are going to be open certain special posting periods are going to be open right what are those special posting period guys so it will not a normal period okay this is not instead of december in the sense last period what is happening guys they are going to open certain special posting period it will be like let's suppose 13 to 16 okay your year will be like let's suppose like this it's a bit confusing guys okay so this is going to be used so that what will happen only the adjustment related on entries are only going to be posted guys uh, normal entries are not going to be posted okay so special posting period okay so uh, right now what is happening guys what is the use of special posting period that is going to be used for adjustment related entries right but we have not posted any entries nothing there is we are in the quite beginning of this one right so it is not possible to explain practically and also right now just leave it so here that is the one use special posting periods are going to be used another use means what guys i told you that let's suppose here 
let me do one thing okay so here like eighth period and here if you have to open like fifth period or sixth period then that is going to be open here in from period two now the another use another use is a is there a forgotten to post a transaction which was from this state right now what happened so let's suppose we have entered in eighth period then a realized the mistake right i told you guys that in sap this control is there in sap this control is there right so a realized the mistake a is trying to post the transaction a is unable to post the transaction because previous period is already closed right so now what is happening this problem a is going to explain this b and c that what i have done i have made this mistake isn't it so these people were very much habituated why because the previous system so called legacy system right so the previous system was like in that they were able to manipulate the things and all but right now it is not possible so this b and c they suggested that you just do one thing get back to the management right go to tl or manager and request them to open the previous period realize your mistake accept your mistake and then post the transactions there is no any other solutions because in sap we have this control right period controls are there in sap so this time in sap what is happening if you made a mistake and if you are trying to post a transaction into previous period period and all without the permission permission of management it is not possible because once they open the previous period then only we can post the transaction into previous period right so he realized now what is happening guys a is going to approach the management these two people are very clever and now they are very much happy why because even this fellow was also is there in the same state and this one also let's suppose it means they have also done the similar mistake since and they were also planning to do the same right they were planning to approach the tl or manager but at the same time this a has like explained his problem so these clever people they said like okay let him approach to the uh, you know like management once they open the previous period we are also going to post the transactions because they are sitting side side by side only so so like they will come to know that previous period is open so they will also post the transactions in that case what will happen this a is going to listen all the lecture from management and these people will be enjoying right this is what their plan so now i'll tell you guys so even there is another control also there is another control also now what is the control okay. so now there is another control called authorization group there is another control called authorization group okay now so authorization group means what guys now this a has made a mistake mistake is made by all three but a is going to approach the tl or manager right these people trying to enjoy free of cost so a has accepted the mistake that so i have made a mistake kindly open the previous period so what happened guys the period was supposed to be open here 7 to 8 right but if you talk about the managers or tl these people like of course they are having some experience then they become manager or tl so instead of opening the period here in the sense like this okay so what they will do they will if this one here 
it is going to be shifted here okay so current period will be open here and they are going to open the previous period here okay they are going to open a previous period here so what will happen guys here okay and then they will enter one authorization group here a b c one authorization group will be here okay now so here authorization group and now what is happening in this like there will be a support and help from basis consultant okay that is what i said like practically it is not possible to execute because uh, the basis part we are not going to do right but the thing is like the reason behind explanation these things and all because i have seen like multiple times people have asked these questions right so that's what if i explain this creation of posting period variant just in two minutes these thing is not possible to cover and if these things is not possible to cover even if you know that how to set up this posting period variant right still your rejections are going to happen because you don't know the control you don't know the exact uses right so that's what so focus on the uses focus on the controls right this is what you have to learn now so what i said here authorization group abc was created right and against this authorization group what is happening guys against this authorization group now this user id of a is assigned okay the against this authorization group user id of a is assigned so now here what is happening guys another control let's have a look so when a is going to post the transaction for this date then sap is going to check age posting transaction for which company code tm double t it's okay against that which posting period variant so this is the posting period variant against this posting period variant which period is open so current period that is 8th that is also open and 7th period is also open but again sap is going to check this is open for all users now here this is open for every users okay when authorization group is going to be given guys then the from period one will be treated restricted for this authorization group right from period one will be restricted for this authorization group and from period two will two will be treated for every users right so sap check that okay two periods are open from period like this is eighth and seventh but since eighth is given in from period two so it is for all users it is for all users all users okay this is for all users this is for all users right and this one from period one so this is for only this is for authorization group right authorization group okay so authorization group means okay so this one is for authorization group in the sense we'll do one thing i'll make it like this okay so this is for this authorization group and this is for all users right okay now make this one also now so now here so when a is going to post a transaction then what is happening guys sap is going to check all those things okay so a is posting a transaction on this date so seventh period is open or not yes seventh period is open but sap found that one restriction is given restriction is given that is abc authorization group a code is given here then sap is going to check in background against this authorization group which user id is assigned 
so user id of a is assigned so it means only a will be able to post a transaction against previous period right so what about these people guys when they are trying to post a transactions system will not allow that no you are not authorized to post the transactions even though previous period is open but this is open for this authorization group and in this authorization group sab found only one user id so that user only will be allowed to post the transaction what about remaining two people these clever people even though they are over smart but still they are not able to post the transaction because the manager or tl are more smarter than these people so look at here guys what kind of controls are there isn't it so even this is called a micro level control user level control can is it possible this is what the question was asked earlier multiple time i have seen they are asking that let's suppose let's suppose there are like uh, so what is the use of posting period variant we all know now what is the use of posting period variant right we can here yeah. period wise transaction posting is going to happen right we can restrict the transaction posting for certain period okay so is it possible like let's suppose so this is what the requirement like let's suppose is it possible to open the previous period for a particular user only for one user only or for five users only for 10 users only is it possible so yes it is possible right yes it is possible and how it is possible right so you have to say that in sap we are having options called authorization group right so one authorization group is going to be set up right and one authorization group is going to be set up so generally what happen against that authorization group whatever whatever the users are assigned right so those users will be allowed to post our transactions right against this specific period isn't it so and this one is for every company code this is for every company code so it's pretty simple guys it's pretty simple to understand here okay now so then what will happen this one by one these people also have to approach to tl or manager whoever the person is going to open and close the period right they have to approach the management they have to accept their mistake right these people are going also going to listen all the lectures and then what will happen then their user ids are also going to be assigned against this authorization group then these people also will be able to post the transaction okay these people will be also able to post the transaction okay so this is what so this is called like exceptional cases guys right except but this control is there right all is generally normally what happened this authorization group will not be there and if it is not there then this is also for all users this itself is for all users okay this itself is for all users and whatever this period is there that is going to be open here and it will be like special posting period will be there or it will be blank whatever it is right and then normally this is going to happen normally this is what the like always current period will be open right now the another thing another thing what is the another thing guys posting period variant why do we set up posting period as a variant right this was the question which was asked by interviewer earlier right or else if you have a look we are having fiscal year variant field status variant right what is this fiscal year variant that i'll explain in details real estate is variant this is also everything is are going to be explained in details guys okay why so why do we why do we set up this fiscal year as a variant why do we set up real estate as a variant right so now what is the logic behind this that we'll see so here what happened guys now
so this is posting period variant why do we set up posting period as a variant why do we set up field status as a variant right other settings also so variant means what guys variant is a reusable settings variant is a reusable settings i'll tell you one thing here variant is a reusable settings okay now generally what is happening these things are happening against posting period variant just do one thing now you remove this one and keep it here okay so this is what is happening it will be like this okay now so posting period variant against this we are going to open and close the period if this is open it means remaining all periods are closed right now we have and this posting period variant is going to be assigned against this posting period variant is going to be assigned against the company code this is going to be assigned against company code okay now what is the benefit to create this posting period as a variant so variant is a reusable settings a reusable settings settings means what i'll tell you so this posting period variant we have opened sorry is created that is for tata motor later on what will happen guys later on you will be having other company code like tata steel let's suppose then tata chemical also right tata hotel group also right various company codes will be there now what will happen guys let's suppose this tata group is having 80 company code or 100 company code isn't it now so if 80 company codes are there 100 company codes are there and all these 100 company codes are using the same calendar year in the sense like jan to december itself as a financial year right all this 80 company code 100 company code or 50 company code or 10 company code whatever the number of company codes are there right one company uh, can have multiple subsidiary right so uh, it depends upon how big the organization it is isn't it so now here let's suppose so all company codes are using the same financial year so what will happen now instead of creating a different different posting period variant for every company code let's suppose if, uh, we are going to maintain 100 company codes are there and 100 posting period variant is created so what happened for every like when you talk about next month next month what is happening guys next period supposed to be open so it is nine right next period supposed to be open so this next period supposed to be open for every company code one by one because every company codes are using a different different posting period variant so for every company code what is happening guys which periods are going to be open ninth periods are going to be right so in that case what happened 100 time the same ninth periods are going to be open right for every company code but sap says no you just do one thing in that case this is a posting period variant variant is a reusable settings so you open ninth period against this posting period variant let's suppose right this posting period variant we have opened ninth period right so since this is posting period we are going to set up as a variant and variant is a reusable settings so if the same posting period variant is going to be assigned to all other company code then what will happen now look at here against this we have opened the ninth period right so against this if we have opened the ninth period and this is already assigned to all company code it means this ninth period is open for tata motor also tata steel also tata chemical also tata hotel group also and likewise whatever tata cement also or whatever the other subsidiaries are there for every subsidiaries ninth period is open 
ninth period is open right so this is what is also a benefit if somebody if someone ask like okay why do we set up posting period as a variant or even the same thing is applicable on fiscal year variant real estate as variant so why do we set up this setting as a variant right so but you have to say that variant is a reusable settings right it is a reusable settings it is a reusable configurations right so posting period and here one posting period variant can be used by multiple company code so if we have open a particular period for against the against the posting period variant since it is a reusable settings it can be linked to the multiple company code so if we have open a period number a particular period that is going to be open for all company code which is going to against which like this same posting period is assigned right this is what the logic very simple right fiscal year variant means again if the same fiscal year variant is assigned to all company code it means that setting is applicable to all company code right what is this fiscal year variant i'll explain in details okay so this is what the use of posting period variant it is going to be used to control the transaction posting for a specific period right apart from this various other controls also i i told that apart from this let's suppose a particular period supposed to be open right and in between these two period if there is more gap like fifth period supposed to be open and right now eighth period is going on current period is eighth period so in that case you can open in from period two we can open the fifth period right apart from this user wide restriction if if it is there then what is happening that is also possible with the help of authorization right okay now what happened guys let's have a look how to set up this posting period variant so first of all what we have to do first of all we have to create the posting period variant right we have to create the posting period variant so three transaction codes will be there three transaction codes will be there the first transaction code first of all create or define create or define posting period variant transaction code is ob po the next one is the second activity will be assign this posting period variant to company code okay ob pp this is another setting and then the next one will be third one so first of all we have to define one posting period variant then what is happening guys this posting period variant must be assigned to the company code these are the two activity then we have created we have assigned also what about these activity open and close the period that also you have to perform right so there is another transaction code open or close the period by a transaction code ob52 okay now i'll tell you this is one time setting this is also one time settings and this is going to be
on a regular basis this is going to be used okay here this is the configurations right this is also configurations so once you have defined the posting period variant it's okay that's done right once we have created a company code it will be done this is a configurations right but so this is one time activity what happened guys the same company codes are going to be used by user on regular basis at the time of transition posting Tata motor you have created Tata steel you have created Tata chemical you have created as a company code right so these company codes are going to be used by user on regular basis so if you talk about defining the company code or creation of company code that is only one time activity once you have done now what is happening once the SAP implementation is done and once we have handed over the system to the users then what will happen those people are going to use this company code on regular basis for transaction postings right likewise this is creation of posting period variant one time setting creation of assignment of this posting period variant to the company code one time setting once you have created an assign it's okay now open and close activities are regularly it is happening maybe in a month four times five times they have to open the previous period or else at every month end they must have to open the next period right so this is a continuous process continuous act continuous activity right so now these are the three transaction code we have to so first of all you have to create obpo small or caps anyone can be used small letter or capital, capital letter now i'll tell you guys when you set up a posting period variant right give the same code whatever is your company code what is the benefit guys the benefit i'll tell you the benefit is like no need to if you are going to give a different code here p p p p right so in that case you need to note down this because later on what will happen multiple times you have to there will be a a need of searching like what is my posting period variant first of all so if you forgotten the code then what will happen how you are going to find out what is your posting period variant of course there are certain way to find out that also you guys will come to know don't worry because later on what is happening guys the moment like slowly slowly we are going to proceed further so you guys are going to become more and more smarter right uh, because multiple things i have to explain so here but if you give the same company code like tm22 that is my company code so tm22 itself the code i have given for posting period variant also it will be quite easy to remember you need to remember only one company code, only one code that is tm22 right that is the logic that is the reason to give this code okay and i'm going to give here that the posting period variant the same code right now here there might be a question in your mind that for company code already we have this we have given this code right so again we are going to use the same code so it's okay guys for company code that was a different setting right there we have given that was a different setting right there you have given 20 m22 and here this is a different setting here also we can give the same code there is no problem right so there will be a question system will not throw error of course system will not throw error because sap is going to check these these are the list among these list if tm 22 is already existing in posting period variant if tm 22 code is already existing here then only sap is going to throw an error that this is already set up okay so in posting period variant tm22 was not set up since we are using our company code tm22 right so posting period variant is that there was no error it means this code is not created by anybody so that is why so now what happened whatever your company code is there with the same code you have to create a posting period variant what is my posting period variant click on position and tm22 so this is my posting period variant so i have created my posting period variant 
what next guys assign this posting period variant to the company code because this posting period variant i have created now how sap will come to know that this posting period variant itself is going to be used by tata motor because multiple other posting period variants are also there here right when the implementations happen right this is a practice server multiple people have created their posting period variant right now if you talk about like in real time also there are multiple posting period variant standard posting period variant right predefined posting period variant will be given by sap also right so how sap will come to know that which posting period variant is set up for tata motor so for that we are company code so use transaction code now you have to jump from one screen to other other screen so use slash n ob bp and press enter right ob bp so here em22 is your company code right and again this company code which posting period variant so tm22 itself is the posting period variant right and then save it okay now so what we have done we have created a posting period variant and next step we have assigned the posting period variant against the company code what next guys the next one is open and close the posting period variant right so go to here slash n ob52 open and close okay so look at here multiple posting period variant right so here guys again some more changes are there in the sense these things i have already explained from period one year period year right from period one then year and then two period right and then year from period two year two period and year and authorization group you just do one thing you just copy first this this always you copy this one triple zero one copy first not first guys somebody has made some mistake you just do one thing remove this okay and then save it first okay now here always this this one triple zero one and this plus indicator okay even behind that also there is a logic okay that there, there is a logic right now first of all you give tm22 and this plus means plus means what what kind of accounts are going to be allowed okay so here first of all we have restrictions restrictions this restrictions are there like period wise restrictions right authorization group means user wise restrictions and even in real time what happened we can have restrictions customer wise also customer wise gl wise asset wise right various account types will be there but right now no need to go into those details because you don't know what is the account type we are in the beginning only right so simply no need to have a look on these things just plus means all type of accounts are allowed plus means all accounts are allowed simply right no need to give here any restrictions right let's suppose here restrictions from account to account means that is going to be used let's suppose this is if you have to apply your restrictions for a particular gl right in the sense posting period seventh was open and transactions should be posted in only so and so gl or only two gl then in that case from account to accounts are going to be given here but right now i think most of you will be confused because you won't be able to visualize whatever i'm saying right now why because the further configurations are not done right so simply no need to have a look here simply you just do one thing guys now what you have to do so 
here like let's suppose the current period right so current period you can open and then remaining here 20 22 you can close this and press enter okay so this is our posting period variant which we have maintained where i have opened the current period right current period as per calendar year when you are going to use the calendar year right now you just save it control s okay okay you save it when you save like tr is going to be generated mine was already generated that is why it is not showing here so if transport request is coming just press enter save on the same transport request okay now look at here so now what we have done we have here so we have defined this posting period variant we have assigned posting period variant and we have opened and closed the period in the sense when i open eighth period then what happened guys automatically the all previous period and all future periods are closed right so that is why it is called open and close the period when you open a particular period all this previous and future periods are automatically closed right this is what the logic so these are the three settings which we have done in this session how much time it has taken guys the configuration has taken hardly two three minutes right in that also i, I was explaining certain things that is why three four minutes or five minutes it has taken or is simply if you have to configure this it is hardly going to take one to two minutes right but explanation has taken more time because this is what you have to see and you have you have to know this is how you guys are going to become SAP consultant so that's all guys that's all in this session